Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker tutorial. In this video we will be uh, starting our um, level generation. I don't know if I'll actually get to finish it or not, it depends on uh, how quickly we actually go. Um, but yeah, actually first thing we've got to do is um, the fact that I've actually sorted out the um, little glitch that we had, um, which you wouldn't be able to have tested because we haven't actually done it yet. but. I can we we can actually go in and sort this out quickly. So if we go into our sprite and our sprite player, we actually do need to center this. Okay, so that's very important. Remember to do that. Okay, then we can click OK. Go back into scripts. I'm going to script grid place meeting. And uh, what was actually going wrong was this um, center meeting bit here. So we're actually going to go in and change this really quickly. So instead of um, this, it's going to be object level grid. Um, but well. Yeah, yeah, it's just gonna be this for the time being. And then we're just gonna put um B box right and uh YY and then uh we need to um oh I've got num lock on. Or or like we've done before. Oops, one too many there. Um copy this and uh this time it's gonna be B box uh, left. Okay, so this is actually going to check our center of our um, B box right and our center of our um, B box left using this YY. Okay, um, so we won't be able to test this yet. Um, at the end of either this video or the next video, we'll actually be able to test that. But um, for now, we can actually just go into our level and uh, we can start making our level generation. Um, because we want it all to happen in one sort of go, um, the way we're going to do this is uh, actually by um, putting it all in one big create event um, which is sort of like um, it'll it'll work um, and it, it it works quite nicely because it doesn't create too much lag or anything you know you're not creating every step or anything so this is a massive 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 chunk of code um, so I'm gonna make it bigger obviously and um, yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna create the level Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually resize our room um, to our uh, uh, cell height and our cell width, which if you remember we actually set at the start. So room width equals cell width uh, divided by 16 um, and then times by 720. So um, this is just going to create our room like the same size, no matter what's how big our our actual room is, um, which is good, I guess. I, I'm not entirely sure why you need to do this, but um, someone just pointed out to me, and just like you know, you, you could do this. Um, so yeah, basically we're going to. Um, uh, make a grid for the whole um, uh, level. So, because it's random generation, our random generation is actually going to be using a grid. So, each individual block is going to be one square in the grid. Um, so, we're going to set the grid width and height. Basically, what we're going to do here is just set the variables uh, var width and uh, var height um, just so. Uh, we can just put them in straight away to our DS grid create and we can actually use them in later bits because it will be how many cells are actually in our room um, so actually we're going to just do room width divided by cell width uh, actually first thing we need to do is because we want it a whole number we need to actually put div um, it's very important because we don't want a half like cell we can't actually do that I don't think so um, don't do that so we're gonna have, and then we're gonna have room height, obviously, and then cell height as well. Okay, so now we've um, created our variables for our um, grid. We've um, created our room sort of size. We can actually go in straight away and just create the grid. Okay, so uh, you're probably quite familiar with grids. We're just gonna put G for our grid, literally just G. So. So we can um, just refer to it really easily. 
So do this grid create. Then we can literally just put width and height. We don't have to write everything out again. Okay, so next we're going to uh, fill whoops, the grid with um, empty slash air cells. So actually what we're going to be doing is setting these to um, air cells. So it's pretty much empty so you can walk straight through them or whatever. So DS grid um, what, it, what is it? Set region Sorry if you can hear anything in the background, it's like glow blah. It's like blowing a gale outside or something. So everything from like zero to um our width and our height we want to fill to our BK air. So that's just our transparent um block. So that'll be just nothing basically. Um a really important bit now as well, we're gonna randomize the world. Um so really if you don't do this, um Every time you like reload the game, it'll be do the same values again and again and again, which will make our room exactly the same, and we won't be able to see our beautiful room generation. Um, right, so how are we going to do this? We're going to use a handy function called randomize. You know, uh, I actually, when I first started Game Maker, I was doing random, I was using the random function, and I was using the irandom function, I was like, why are these creating the same variables every single time? And it was because I hadn't randomized it. Basically what GameMaker does is it, it decides it's going to come up with the same values for the random functions. Uh, just for debugging purposes. Okay, so we're going to want to keep that like that. Okay. And now we're going to actually create a controller. So we're going to create it in the middle of the grid. So create the controller in the middle of the grid. And what the controller actually does is um it's where our um place starts actually we're not going to create it in the middle we're going to create it in the like side of the grid i guess um because what we're going to want to do is make like a um like a funny terrain with like hills and stuff um so we're going to create it at one side and then make it go like funny angles and whatever ways and then um fill everything underneath it in so that's what we're actually going to be using for our controller. Our controller is actually going to be uh, the bit that moves along and destroys or creates all the blocks. Um, so we are going to uh, do we actually. Hmm. No, we don't actually need this. We're just going to create it. Um, so we're going to do var. CX equals zero because it's going to be right. Whoops, because it's going to be right up at the side, and uh, vars CY equals uh, height div two. So we're going to be dividing our height by two and then putting it there. Trust me, this does work and it looks really nice. I mean, you could potentially just put I random height. Uh, that would also work, but you know, per purposes. You know, we don't want a room filling all the way up to the top. We don't want it going really low. So if you started off at like middle, it it works pretty well. So now we're going to create the player. So we're not actually going to put the player in the room. We're just going to put this um, thing. Uh, it means that our player always gets dropped in, so it doesn't get glitched in any blocks or you know or whatever else uh, you want to do. So we're going to put, do instance create, um, and we're going to have it at uh, zero zero object player okay so that's literally our clock but there it's literally our uh, player created and now we're actually going to do something that's really really helpful and how we're going to create our main bit so the odds of ch are the of changing direction so what we're going to do to change the direction is we're going to have a random variable. Um, in this case, it's going to be uh, var odds equals one. So every time we can just do i random odds, and this will give us either zero or one, and then we can use that to determine whether we're going up, down, across, you know, wherever you really wish to go. So um, now we're going to have the odds of going up or down. So the odds of going up or down. 
Okay. Um, so this one's just going to be whether we are uh, um, either whether we are actually moving or not. We're, if we're actually going up or down, this one's going to be checking whether we're going up or whether we are going down. Um, so we're just going to do up equals one just for developing purposes, so we can come along and look at it. And uh, down equals zero. And then we're going to create our up down variable. So var up down equals one. So um, that is our ten minutes up in this video. We've created, I'd say, about half of our um, level generation. Um, so yeah, um, remember to watch out for the next tutorial. Remember to share, like, you know, do whatever you guys want to do. And I will talk to you later.